Today we're going to practice multiplying fractions by whole numbers. Let's look at some examples. In all of these cases, we're going to want to evaluate the, the product of our two numbers and then express that result as a mixed fraction or a whole number if that's what we get. Let's look at this example. The key thing to remember when you multiply a fraction by a whole number is you want to multiply the numerator by the whole number and leave the denominator alone. Don't do anything with it. In this case, that means we have 8 times 3 divided by 4. The 4 didn't change. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 4 is just 6. So this product is going to be 6. Here's another example. Again, multiply the numerators. 3 times 3. Leave the denominator alone. This gives us 9 over 4. But now we need to write that as a mixed number. 9 over 4. Remember that 2 times 4 would be 8. So this is going to be 2 plus 1 fourth left over because it's one more than eight fourths. It's nine fourths, so there's one fourth left. One more time. Six times three fourths. Multiply in the numerator. Leave the denominator alone. Six times three, 18. 18 divided by four. Now, the first thing we want to do to simplify this, this is not in lowest terms. 18 and 4 both have a factor of 2, so divide them both by 2. That will give us 9 over 2. This is a little bit more than 4, because 8 over 2 would be 4. So this is 4 with an extra half. 4 and 1 half. Once again, multiply the numerator. 1 times 2. Leave the denominator alone. 2 over 4. These now share a factor of 2, so divide them both by 2, giving 1 over 2. 1 half is our answer. Once again, multiply the numerator. 6 times 3. Leave the denominator alone. 18 divided by 4. 18 and 4 share a factor of 2. Divide them both by 2. This gives us 9 divided by 2. Then remember, 9 divided by 2 is going to be a little bit more than 4. How much more? 1 half extra, because 8 over 2 would be equal to 4, so this is one extra half above that, four and a half. Another example, multiply the numerator. Eight times three, leave the denominator alone. Eight times three is 24, divided by four. 24 over four is equal to six. So that's gonna be our answer. One more time, multiply the numerators. Nine times two, leave that denominator alone. 18 divided by three. 18 divided by three is just six because six times three is equal to 18. So our final answer will be six. Just like before, multiply the numerator. Two times three. Keep the denominator the same, and we get 6 over 4. This is the same as 3 over 2. Just divide both parts by 2. 3 over 2 is 1 and 1 half, because 3 over 2 is the same as 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 1 and a half.
Here's our last two examples. Multiply the numerators. 8 times 3. Keep that denominator the same. 24 divided by 4. This is just 6. So our final answer will be 6. And the last one. Multiply the numerators. 4 times 2. Divide by 4. 8 divided by 4, which is just 2. And that's how we multiply fractions by whole numbers.